bar here. We're going to wash or rinse the emulsion in the developer off the plate. Okay, once you think you got that plate rinsed and washed, cleaned, we'll turn the water off. We'll take this rubber squeegee blade, squeegee the bed dry, squeegee the back of the plate dry, squeegee the bed dry again, and now we'll squeegee the front of the plate dry. Okay, so we've taken our plate, we've punched it, we've exposed it, we developed it, washed it, dried it, but now we're not finished. The last step of making the plate, called the finishing step, takes the plate over, and now what we're going to do is we're going to apply this clear gum, or gum arabic, which comes from the sapper syrup of a tree. We're going to squirt some gum on, put that gum on the entire plate. Now gum arabic loves water. The technical term for that is hydrophilic. Hydro being water, philic being loving, as compared to hydrophobic, which would be water hating. So gum arabic is applied to the plate, the very last step, the finishing step, to make sure that when we start to print, we have a clean, non-imagerial background that doesn't print dirty. Okay, we can throw away the gum cotton pad, put away the gum. We're going to get some paper towel here, ball it up, and then we're going to dry the plate. This is called buffing the plate. It basically removes excess gum off the image area so the plate doesn't blind, but it leaves it on a non-image area background. Okay, we have a completed plate. Image area, non-image area. Uh, and the bleeding center register marks. Now the plate is ready to be hung or mounted onto the plate cylinder.